Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is about an RC kite that I built with a drone chase. So it's going to be kind of an interesting video to say the least. If you've been around flying for a while, you'll know this is the little stick. It has an OS 32 engine on it, a helicopter engine of all things. And I built it about 25 to 30 years ago and I even added flaps. So it was really the plane for the day. And look at this, I even have this long tuned pipe on there just just to be different I guess. <laughs> and this will give you a basic idea of its size. The tubing is kite material. It's carbon fiber which is 48 inches long and that's basically what I used and I covered the tubing with some uh, brass tubing to give it a little more strength. And there's another shot of it. Now on the tail I made it adjustable so I can adjust the incidence depending on the on the winds for the day. Now this is Solomon. He'll be flying the drone, the drone chase plane as we could call it. And he'll be flying with the FPV and the goggles of course. So let's get ready for takeoff. And I'll tell you friends, it certainly gets the eyes of other pilots when they see this thing fly. It's certainly different from anything else they've really seen before. And I would agree, it is different. And it's a lot of fun to do touch and goes with. And that's really about all you can do with it. You don't want to do loops or, or I've never tried any. I guess you might, might be able to do that, but I'm not going to do it. But anyway, just have a lot of fun trying different things. And we fly out at the Rowlett RC field. That's in Rowlett, Texas, near Dallas, Texas. So you have an interest, just come on out and check us out. Solomon is flying around, looking through goggles and chasing the RC kite. I, I don't know how he can do it, but that's really an amazing thing to me that he can actually fly, follow it, come in low, look on a side view of it. Just really amazing. If you're thinking about building one, make sure you have a wide stance landing gear for one. And you can get the carbon fiber tubing from a kite store. So just look up some of them online and I use 516 OD for the diameter of the carbon fiber tubes and they're 48 inches long. That's how they come when you order them. Also in critical places where like tubings would meet, I'd use a brass sleeve that would go over it and I could glue it for additional strength. And another thing you'll need is flying wires. I think I have three on each side to support the additional loads because without them the carbon fiber tubing is not strong enough to work. And the blue sail is ripstop nylon and you can also find that at kite shops online. Now how you all sew that together I don't know. I have no idea. My uh, wife sewed it up and, and it turned out perfect. Something I couldn't do. All right, and here we are coming in for a good landing and a good taxi. Taxi ride on up. Don't crash, thank you very much. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And be sure and look up my other videos. Anything that flies, from drones to ultralight aircraft to full-scale gliders. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you in the air next time. Bye-bye.